So, uh, 2021's over. Well, what else did you want me to say? Alright, so yeah, 2021's over. It's been a really, really good year for me. Um, well, kinda. You see, um, 2021 was a bit of a sh stressful year for me. Like, a good year. It's a bit complicated. It, no, I don't mean, like, quarantine from 2020 still leaking into 2021 a little. Uh, no, not not that. It's just, mentally, I wasn't really the best. Now, I know what you're saying. Oh, yeah, uh, content creator, not uh, the best mentally. What else is new? But, I mean, like, I don't mean, like, um, you know, I was getting thoughts of death or, like, stuff like this, stuff of the not living anymore. No, I was, like, um... You know, just getting sad, unmotivated with a lot of stuff. In fact, like, the last thing I actually got really motivated to work on was um, Power Tricksters. And that was a really long time ago, as you know. And um, one of the last, like, big projects I uploaded to my old channel, Starry Day. Jesus Christ, I, it doesn't feel right calling it an old channel yet. I'm still not used to it, man. Um... But this year, like, I've just been trying to try new things, get more motivated, and get back into the swing of things. And, um, as it seems, as it looks like by people, like, watching my videos and the amount of views compared to subscribers I get now compared to the old channel, where the old channel I had 500 subscribers, woo, hip hip hooray, and would only hit about, like, 47 views per video. What? <laughs> Meanwhile, now, all I'm... I'm just stuck at 30 and I'm getting like double or sometimes triple the amount of views just because I guess people really like the content I'm making now, how I'm putting more effort into it. And I really like that. I really like to see people actually happy to see and watch what I make and, you know, get feedback on how to make my videos better. Because um, as I started up the new channel, I decided, all right, I need to put more effort into this channel, all right? I want to put more effort into this. I want to make this more of a hobby, right? I want to actually put effort into this. I want to actually, like, create more stuff. And um, I've been slowly getting into that. Like, as you saw with me uh, starting to do Minecraft, but X is happening. In fact, one of my favorite videos from that was um, Minecraft over freaking wizards. Like, that was the, my favorite video I ever recorded. Not because, like, it had the funniest moments, but mostly just because um, it was the first time I just leaned out of my comfort zone to try out something new. And yeah, it was still, like, really fun. So I think, like, that choice really paid off. I didn't really post a lot of animations this year either, which is a bit sad, but I still made, like, some art, some concepts, and a lot of stuff this year. Hell, I even, like, said on Twitter, Hey guys, T The Dead Zone is back in production. Which is kind of true. You, you see, if you don't know what the Dead Zone is, the Dead Zone is this horror game project that I'm working on that I really want to make. I don't know a lot about game design and stuff like that, but I'm just slowly leading myself into learning it just because I think it would be cool to make a good horror game and I think I would have a good story for it. Hell, I even like do have like a complete story of like how I want the game to go. And if it does well, I can still follow it up with something that makes sense. Because, like, game one, it can end just as good, right? If I if I make the game, people like it, but it doesn't explode on the internet, that's fine. I can just leave the story at that. However, if, like, many people like it and want a sequel, I will do 100 to make a sequel. Because, like, I also have plans for one. But I also have this habit of thinking too far ahead. Where it's, um... I would think about how stuff would go, how things would go, and then just realize how unmotivated I am. So I honestly just took a break from animation in general. Like, genuinely. Like, I needed a break from animation, because... I still did art, right? I still loved drawing art, I still loved making art, but because of the stresses of school and me thinking ahead too much, I decided to just take a step back from animation and then just work on my gaming videos. Which seems to have paid off, because, like, it helped me, like, learn how to edit a bit better, learn, like, where are good moments for these, and not do an intro twice in a row during a video, which I had a habit of doing. 
Look at parasites and wizards. <laughs> uh, then again, maybe it's a good idea that I do the intro twice, so it's like uh, you're actually cup speed, you actually see what happens to the recording. I don't know. Actually, the footage you're watching right now is um, actually footage I recorded for a new Blocks Cards videos, which is something I want to do for a while. It's probably either getting my butt kicked or me winning. It's most likely me losing, because I, I, Nightmares, even though they are my favorite deck, they, they just kind of suck. <laughs> uh, anyways. So, um, what are the plans I have for next year? Well, I'm gonna 100% get back into animation and slowly lean to game design and 3D modeling again. So I can actually, like, put more effort into this game. Because I really want to make this game. I really want to make it an actual thing. Just like Sorry Name Power Tricksters. Power Tricksters gonna get reanimated to a point where the story actually makes sense. Where the animation's better. And not just at a point where it's just, like, a text appears for literally one frame. Where you have to pause it and then just, like, continue on. Or, like, scenes that were originally animated before I had like a full vision of the story where like Alex Lewis said didn't think I'd have to use my power on you when literally his whole character arc is he doesn't want to use his power because mistakes happened in the past and I don't mean like the edgy kind I mean legit like he's worried he's gonna hurt more people so yes it is kind of a cliche thing and finally Starry Day again because Starry Day is like the project that honestly started all of, like, my ideas accumulating into one giant series. And, um, yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it for plans I have for the future. I am going to make, like, more game videos, because those are fun as hell. And, like, Welcome to Blox Cards, or Welcome to Roblox is still going to continue. Um, Minecraft Bud is going to continue. Just, like, everything that was in the past is going to continue. Um, except for the experienced newbie. That was just me testing out, like, um, commentary in general. And how I feel about stuff. Because I'm not the best at commentary, I'll admit it. I'm not the best at commentary, I'm not the best at, like, saying, like, stuff that's on my mind. Because I need to take breaks to, like, relocate myself on scripts and, you know, like, say you like a lot. Because whenever I can't think of, like, the thing I'm going to say next, I'm just going to say like. And when that happens a lot in the video, it's kind of just like, he's going to say like in three, two, one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have a lot of stuff I have planned. Actually, you can see how this, like, channel slowly took form over uh, this year. How I slowly leaned into what I wanted this channel to be. Like, you saw the experience newbie where it's like, it was the first commentary thing I did. Where it's like, commentary with my cosmetics on. By the way, Aruna drew this. She is a really good artist. She did a really good job on the thumbnail. And then it's like, I like making videos of, which is just me, like, talking again. And then, like, me slowly leaning to gameplay. Then art that has to do with games like, Changed Roads was actually, like, something I have early access to, and frankly, anyone could get early access to if you just ask Witherwolf politely. Uh, Black Magic 2, Game Talk, which I'm not sure what I was doing with Game Talk. Honestly, I should have done, um, Roblox instead of Game Talk. I think just adding Roblox at the end would be much better than just Citadel, Black Magic 2, Game Talk. The Friday Night Funkin' video, Blocks, Cards, etc, etc, etc. Uh, literally an entire stream, or an entire recording, plus me fighting the secret boss, which is four hours long, by the way, just because I really was excited for Deltarune. And then after that, you can start to see where my videos started to pop off. And around Star makes a batshit crazy Deltarune theory. Because, like, I thought it'd be funny, because, like, there was this, um, spam time mentions this person named Mike, and in the game files for NAP 2, there was a PNG that looked like a frog that's named Mike. So I thought, okay, you know what would be funny? If I made, like, an entire crazy Deltarune theory based off of this. 
There's even a pizzeria and references to Purple Guy and whatnot, so it is entirely possible that there will be a FNAF reference in, like, one of the Dark Worlds, which would be cool. Um, and after that, you just see, like, um, my videos slowly starting to pop up, like, Minecraft Hunter's Parasites, Roblox by Ford's Capital Keys to play, uh, Minecraft Hide and Seek, Constant Fear, and so on and so forth, I slowly started to get more views. And, like, uh, I think, like, me taking a little break might have hurt that streak a little, because you could see immediate drop in views again. But, um, yeah. I'm not really worried about views and whatnot. I'm just, like, happy that people like my content and more people are finding my content and possibly even liking it. Even if I'm not the best uh, content creator or commentator out there. Um, yeah, if you couldn't already tell, this video is just me ranting about 2021 and uh, my thoughts on it and this year and my plans for the future. And with that, I don't really have anything else to say. It's just that thank you all for this amazing year. In fact, I'm also going to upload this on the Starry Day channel and then link my new channel description. So people know where I went and all, and in case, like, some people were wondering, because I feel like some people, like, are still questioning where I went, because, like, if you go to that channel, like, as I said, I had around 591 or 580-something when I first left the channel, and right now I have 594, which means people are still coming here, people are still subscribing, so that means I gotta do something so people don't infinitely come to this channel expecting like, ooh, new content, ooh, new content, ooh, new content, did this guy die? Oh, I better unsubscribe, yeah. Um, I'm still alive. I'm still here. Um, yeah. Okay, that's about it. I just wanna say, uh, I hope y'all have an amazing day, or an amazing new year, right? And, um, I'll see y'all next year with my next big video. Alright. Have a good one, y'all, and, uh, happy new year. Uh, Jesus Christ, this video is not my best. <laughs>